Alrighty, welcome fifth graders. So today we are going to be learning about the beginnings in Africa. All right, so you were uh, given a Google Doc, and in that Google Doc, uh, kind of had this set up for you. So what I need you to do is fill out the bullet points as we kind of go along with them. All right, so the first one um, we need to understand about early civilizations is how do they survive? First of all, people need food, water, and shelter. Those are the three main things that we all need for survival. Uh, the first types of people that we have uh, in history are called hunter-gatherers, and they hunted animals for food and clothing, uh, ate fruits and nuts and roots, uh, made tools of wood, bones, and stones. All right, and a big thing to know about these people is they were what we call nomadic. So they were constantly moving around uh, to food sources. All right, and they used stone tools uh, for cutting in animal skins, and that is mainly because that is the advancement of the technology that they had at that time. Uh, another thing that kind of starts to happen is we, as hunter-gatherers kind of progress through history, we start to see something called domestication. And this is what allows people to settle in a place and have more control over their own food supply. So before they had to go around um, and gather in an area and hunt in an area, and then once all that food was gone, they would move on to someplace else. So now with domestication, they're able to have what we call food surplus, uh, which uh, started allowing people to have other jobs, and it also allowed them to settle in one area. And this is when we start to see civilizations begin. All right, so our next column is the Nile. All right, and <clears throat> this is a, a farming civilization around about 5,000 BCE or BC, uh, and this is... They started evolving into social classes with similar backgrounds, wealth, and ways of living. All right, so that's what we, when we say a social class, that's what it refers to. People who have similar backgrounds, uh, they have similar wealth, and they have similar ways of living. All right, in Egypt, uh, along the Nile, you had uh, what was called a pharaoh. So think of it like a king and a queen, kind of like a monarchy. Uh, and some things that happened along there, they're skilled at paper making, architecture, medicine, and mathematics. Uh, another civilization, because um, we know the Egyptian one, another one uh, that was also at this time was Nubia, and they were in South Egypt around 6,000 BC, and they with farming around 5,000 BCE, and they started having kingdoms around 3,100 BCE. So you can see there's quite a few years in between when farming starts to happen in the formation of government, all right? And then part of Nubia and Egypt is that they started conquering other lands. All right, so our next one here are the Bantu migrations. All right, so the Bantu are another uh, tribe of people that live within Africa. Okay, so they have mass migrations of, and they're called Bantus because it was the language that they spoke, so about 4,000 years ago. We don't know why they migrated, kind of if you think about the mines that we talked about this year, we don't really necessarily know why the mines disappeared, but it could be different possibilities. And um, But the... They needed an increased food supply, or there's overpopulation, maybe there's a disease going around, we don't quite know for sure. Uh, Bantu speakers uh, spread throughout Central and Southern Africa, where most ethnic groups uh, still speak a form today. Uh, after the and for the Bantu-speaking farmers arrived, other ethnic groups began speaking Bantu languages, so we start to see a melding of different civilizations happening there. And then lastly, most most ethnic groups in Central and Southern Africa uh, today are Bantu speakers. So here is a map for you to see this. So when we're talking about Nubia and Egypt, this is this area over here in the top right-hand corner of your screen where I'm circling right now, okay? And then we have over here the Bantu. So they started somewhere over here near Benin, this modern-day country of Benin, and they start spreading out over uh, in this direction, all throughout South and Southern, Central and Southern Africa. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip side.